Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a spring get ready with me from like when I wake up up until when I've kind of done my makeup and my hair. So if you'd like to see the products I'm loving at the moment and my go-to makeup routine of the moment then please keep watching. So the first thing that I like to do when I wake up in the mornings is to brush my teeth. I cannot start the day without brushing my teeth because it helps me feel fresh and awake and once I have brushed my teeth I move straight on to having some breakfast. So recently for my breakfast I've been having some natural granola. I got this specific one from Costco and then I've been adding some dried fruits onto it. So today I decided to have some dried blueberries and then a couple of teaspoons of this matcha mix that I have which is a mix of like chia seeds and loads of goodness with some almond milk. Now I like mine quite runny so I've added quite a bit of almond milk and then I'm having some water on the side to make sure my plant nanny app is going strong. Then I jump straight into the shower and what I've been loving recently is the British Rose collection by The Body Shop. It smells insanely beautiful. So I use the shower gel and then layer the body butter on top just so that I know the scent is going to stick on me all day long and I'm going to be smelling yummy and lovely like a rose. It really is a beautiful scent. Then I move on to finishing off my skincare because usually I cleanse and exfoliate in the shower. So I'm just putting my eye cream on. I'm also putting some tonic on and then I am also going in with my moisturizer. Then once I have done this, it is time for me to get ready. I've been sleeping in two kind of French braids at night so it helps my hair look nice and crimped in the morning. So first things first, for makeup I start off with my SPF, this is one from Giorgio Armani and it's an SPF of 50 and we cannot forget this, even in the winter, spring, summer, whatever month it may be, we need our SPF. And then for lip balm, I'm going in with the Honey Lip Balm by The Body Shop which is my current favourite. And then for primer, I decided to go with the Professional Matte Rescue and I feel like this really does help me stay quite matte and not oily throughout the day. So I'm just putting this on the usual areas of my face and if you guys have been watching my videos recently, you'll know that I've been going in with my concealer first. So I'm taking the Eraser Eye Concealer and putting this on the usual areas that I like to not only conceal but brighten and highlight my face. So that is underneath my eyes on my face forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my chin and around my mouth. Once I have it in the places that I want it to be, I go ahead and blend all of that away with my damp beauty blender. And this just means I'm going to be putting less like foundation on my face and have less layers on my face. Then speaking of foundation, moving on to that, I'm using a mixture of the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer mixed in with the Coach Endo moisture foundation and that this is more of kind of like a tinted moisturizer and it's so lovely on the skin it's very lightweight and I love the glow that the Lumi Magic Primer adds onto my skin so here I'm just blending everything out with my damp beauty blender making sure there's no weird lines going on and then I'm setting all the concealed and highlighted places with the Laura Mercier brightening powder I think it's called the secret brightening powder but I'm just packing this on to the areas where we used that Maybelline concealer not a thick layer just something quite light and it's just going to help the concealer last all day moving on to bronzer I'm using my favorite liquid bronzer by Giorgio Armani and putting this in the usual areas of my face so the hollows of my cheeks and basically around the perimeters of my face so along my hairline and then I also did add this on to my jawline as well just to give my face a little bit more of a dimension and so that it doesn't look really flat once I'm happy with the placement of this, I do go in with my wet beauty blender just to blend out all of the edges to make sure that everything is seamless. For contour, I am taking my Freedom London Makeup Powder Palette and this is the strobing palette. I'm just using a mixture of the three dark shades in the hollows of my cheeks and blending all of that out. And then I did take that along the other areas that we bronzed just so that we're making sure that the liquid bronzer is nicely set. And then I did ever so slightly contour my nose with that powder. 
And I did add a little bit of concealer on the bridge of the nose just to make sure that that's standing out and the contour looks like a nice natural nose contour. And then again, just blending out all the edges where I feel like it needed blending out. Now to make my contour look a little bit sharper, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just kind of baking underneath where my contour is just to sharpen that up a little bit. And we are gonna leave this on here for a few minutes while we do the brows. So I'm just taking a spoolie and I'm brushing through all the hairs in the direction that I want them to be in. And then taking my trusty Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade ash brown i'm just going ahead and filling them in using some light strokes and just filling in the gaps in the areas where my kind of hairs are a bit sparse and once i'm done with one brow i'm moving on to the next one again just doing the same thing and it doesn't matter if my brows aren't looking exactly symmetrical because your eyebrows should definitely look like sisters and not twins like we don't need to make them look exactly the same so once i'm done with that i took the archery by soap and glory in the shade hot chocolate and i'm just again just darkening up certain areas and adding kind of feathery strokes in the areas where i felt like it kind of needed it and i did use the spoolie end to brush out towards the inner parts of my eyebrows just because i feel like this makes them look really nice and natural and if you guys know me after doing this i have to set my brows in place so i'm taking the brow artist plumper and really working that into my brows to make sure every single hair has been set and none of my eyebrow hairs are gonna be like pinging in weird direction. This is really just gonna lock everything in place. Next, I'm just brushing away that translucent setting powder and this you can see has just cleaned up that contour, but I am gonna go in with that contour brush and bronzer brush just to make sure everything's nice and blended and it's not looking too much. Then taking the Luminoso blush, I'm adding this onto the apples of my cheeks. I just feel like as soon as it becomes spring and summer, I always, always, always tend to use this blush. It's such a beautiful color. Then taking a Starlight Illuminator by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm applying that to the high points of my my cheeks I have seriously been in love with this highlighter for so long now that I actually decided to use this same product onto my eyes as well so here I'm just packing the color onto my eyelids and making sure that both of the eyes look the same in color because you don't want one to look more intense than the other and then I did drag that in ever so slightly in the inner corners as well and when I was happy with both my eyes looking as similar as possible, I went in with the transition shade. I'm using that same contour palette in this shade right here. And I'm adding that into the crease of my eyes. And I'm building this color up really, really slowly because I don't want it to be too harsh. I want it to be very natural and very subtle. Something really soft and is really perfect for daytime for spring. And once I'm happy with the way that is looking, I decided to take that same highlighter again and apply it to the brow bone again this is just just going to add a little bit of glow to our face then taking the smolder coal eyeliner in the black shade i am going ahead and lining my upper waterline i'm kind of focusing in the inner corners of my eyes because this is the area that i wanted to intensify and for mascara, you guys know the drill, I'm using my False Lash Sculpt Mascara. This is seriously becoming my ride or die. I absolutely cannot get enough of this mascara. It's the weirdest wand. When I first tried it, I was like, meh. So it's an all right mascara, but the more I use it, you guys, seriously, the more I fall in love with it. It is so good. And you guys know me, I did go in with at least two layers of this on my lashes. Next, it was time to work on the lower lashes. And I took that same shade we had in the crease and I just ran that along my lower lash line. This is seriously my go-to eye look recently. I just love doing this on the days where I just want something fresh and spring-like and really nice and kind of dainty looking and pretty looking. Then taking that same mascara, I'm adding this on to my lower lashes. Again, you guys know the drill. I love going in a little bit heavy with this only because I love balancing the top and lower parts of my lashes. And I was gonna go in with some falsies right at the end, um, but you can totally skip that stage if you want to. Now we're gonna move on to kind of smoking that lash line out. So I'm taking this matte ink eyeliner you want to make sure your eyeliner that you're using is matte and i'm just doing a really rough line on my upper lash line and then i'm taking a brush and blending that 
eyeliner out and this is going to give it that really smoky effect you don't want to blend too far up into your crease or anything like that just kind of blend it in place almost but making sure that the lines are really nice and diffused out and then I'm doing the exact same thing to the other eye you can definitely use brown liquid eyeliner if you like this look looks absolutely beautiful with brown as well but I decided to go with black because I really wanted to do a contrast look because it really brings out the brown in my eyes whenever I use a black eyeliner so here I'm just smudging both of the eyes out and once I was happy with the way that they were looking I just went and intensified the eyeliner just really really close to my lash line to kind of intensify that product there for the lips I'm taking pillow talk by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm not only lining my lips but I'm also filling them all in and then this is going to give a really good base for any kind of lip product we're going to put on this because this stuff lasts for a really long time I wanted to go for a bit of a glossy look so I took this LA Girl lip paint in the shade Peony and I took a lip brush and just slowly built the color up until I was happy with the kind of pinkiness of this lips so as you can see here it's a little bit more pink than before and that's because I just used a little bit of product step by step to kind of build that color up until I was happy with the final shade of the lips now you can totally leave this look right here but I did go and add some falsies you know guys my favorite falsies are the WSP lashes by Red Cherry so I'm just adding them onto my eyes and as you can see right here it just adds a really nice thickness to my original kind of natural lash and I really like them for daytime wear because they are really really unnoticeable but it just gives your lashes that extra kind of oomph and for the final step of the makeup I like to go in with a bit of fix plus spray and this is just going to set everything in place and give our face a really nice kind of dewy look and feel now for the hair it's super easy because we've already prepped it the night before I've got two French braids and all I'm doing is I'm taking my hair out and it is left with a really natural beachy crimped hair. This is basically what I've been doing in a lot of my videos recently. Loads of you wanted a tutorial on the look, but it really is just as simple as putting a couple of French braids into your hair and sleeping with it in the night and then taking them out in the morning so this you guys is my spring get ready with me i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i really want to do more seasonal get readies with me's like this because it's a great way of me to show you guys the things that i'm loving and the makeup routine that is my kind of go-to makeup routine for that season so please let me know if you would like a summer get ready with me because i'd be more than happy to do one and yeah i guess that is all for now thank you so much for all the love and support you guys i love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!